Hey you guys, it's Justine and I just finished the maximum hydration method after not doing it for about two months or so. My results were so good so I just had to show you guys. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I was able to go from this to this. So at this point, I have already shampooed my hair using the Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Shampoo. This shampoo is perfect for dry damaged hair, which is of course ideal to use prior to the Max Hydration Method. So step one to the Max Hydration Method is to actually do a protein treatment. If you have never done the Max Hydration Method before or if your hair is prone to a lot of breakage or shedding, definitely do a protein treatment first. So believe it or not, too much protein can actually be damaging to your hair. So you want to make sure that you only do a protein treatment every two weeks or even every month or so and not to do the protein treatment every time you do the max hydration method. So you'll most likely do the max hydration every day or every other day and you definitely do not want to do a protein treatment before every single time. Now here you'll see that I am just raking this protein treatment through my hair from the ends to the roots as if I was applying any other sort of product. The instructions say to sit underneath the hooded dryer without agitating your hair until the product is hard and your hair cannot move. And this is what the results are looking like afterwards. So this time around, I decided to use two different types of moisturizers. One to use as a detangler and one to use as a deep conditioner. So for my detangler, I use the Affigy Balancing Moisturizer, which is step two to the protein treatment. And while I was in the shower, I just applied that to my hair use it as a detangler and let that sit for about two minutes. This moisturizer is supposed to infuse moisture. It's also supposed to improve manageability, softness, and shine. After I rinsed that out, I went ahead and added the Texture ID Deep Treatment Mask. This mask includes sweet almond oil, wheat protein, and honey, and it's supposed to restore strength and hydration. This mask was so easy to glide through my hair and my hair immediately just started to melt. I mean, it was so easy for my comb to go from the roots to the tips and I literally just couldn't even stop touching my hair. I knew that once I rinsed this out, my hair was going to be so soft and my curls were just going to pop. And literally, what is even breakage? I just combed my entire hair and as you can see on the comb, the breakage is pretty much non-existent. So I am just going to continue to touch my hair for a little bit more because it's so soft and sit underneath the dryer for about 20 minutes or so. So now it's time to create your clay mask. The instructions that I was reading called to have about a cup of bentonite clay and a cup and a half of either apple cider vinegar or water. So I decided to of course use apple cider vinegar because the benefits will always outweigh water when you're doing a mask like this. And instead of using a cup of bentonite clay and a cup and a half of apple cider vinegar, I decided to eyeball it because I don't want to have too much and I don't want to have too little for my hair. And just after doing this many times. I just realized that eyeballing it always works better for me. So I would start out with maybe about a half a cup of the clay mask and then adding about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar each time, mixing it, checking the consistency, checking how much you have, and then adding more clay or more apple cider vinegar depending on the consistency that you want. I'll show you the consistency in a little bit. You want it to be similar to a leave-in, something that still has hold and that you can rake in your hair because of course the purpose of applying the clay mask is to infuse moisture and make sure that your, cl uh, your curls are clumping. So just continue to add the amount of clay and the uh, amount of uh, ACV as, as necessary and then once that's ready you'll add about a tablespoon of olive oil, a tablespoon of um, of uh, avocado oil or any other oils that you would like. I just wouldn't make it too oily. I found out that two tablespoons is about enough. So if you want to add maybe more oils, just do maybe a teaspoon of each instead. So we are finally at my favorite part of the entire maximum hydration method and that is applying the clay. So at this point I have divided my hair into multiple sections. 
making sure that the sections are not too big but also not too small so that you waste clay. So act as if you were doing a wash and go or separating your hair for a twist out or something like that. And here you'll see that I am starting from the ends of my hair, working my way up to my roots, just smoothing the product on and then raking the product. So first thing that I'm going to do is smooth the clay onto my hair and I'm going to rake it through to ensure that all of my curls are coated. You'll notice that once you have enough clay, your curls will just start to form and clump and that's when you know that you can move forward. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a couple more sections then I'm going to speed it up, then slow it down, then show you guys the final results. Here you can see that my hair is completely covered with the clay, my curls are clumped, they're formed and you're like oh shoot what's about to happen when she rinses that clay out and you guys this is what happened when I rinsed that clay out. My curls were formed, they were clumped, they were beautiful. I mean, you can feel the softness through your screen. And the best part about this is there are absolutely no product involved. No product necessary, you guys. Just plain water, fresh out, fresh out the shower. So this is how you know that your hair is on its way or pretty close to reaching maximum hydration. And this is the benefits of taking an hour, two hours to do the max hydration method. It's totally worth it. Let me know what you guys think below and I'll be sure to add the instructions, the ingredients and everything else that you need to know to make sure that you have a successful max hydration. So thank you guys for rocking with me for this entire max hydration process and I look forward to seeing your results too. Bye guys.